Deanna stepped closer to the governor's desk. State House reporter Hannah Adamson explains what exactly restaurants can and cannot do thanks to this bill. Restaurants and bars across Indiana were hit hard during the COVID-19 pandemic. The owner of Indiana's oldest bar, the Slippery Noodle Inn behind me, says this new happy hour bill will bring a much needed financial boost. So any kind of bill like this that brings back business is a huge help to us and we're excited about it. Sean Lothridge says thanks to a happy hour bill the Indiana Senate passed this week, the Slippery Noodle Inn will be able to expand its staff. You have a couple months of the year where there's not much traffic downtown. Hopefully this will remedy some of that. Patrons at the Slippery Noodle Inn we spoke to say they're all for the bill. I have no problems with it. I think it should be legalized in the state of Indiana just due to the environment and the new crowd that they're trying to you know, break to the city. One patron we spoke to was visiting from North Carolina, a state that still has a ban on happy hour. I'm jealous. I mean, <laughs> that'd be nice. But the bill's author says bars would still need to follow strict guidelines. These happy hours could last no longer than four hours per day or 15 hours per week. They can't offer two for one specials or bottomless drinks. They can't have games that are uh, based on how much uh, alcohol a person can consume. Mental Health America of Indiana says roughly 2,300 Hoosiers ages 12 and up are treated each year for alcohol use disorder, something they say this bill could make even worse. Just the association with a happy hour research shows um, can encourage people to drink. The Senate removed a portion of the bill that would have allowed patrons to order carry out drinks. The bill now heads back to the House for further review. Reporting in Indianapolis, I'm Hannah Adams.